Hi, my name is Corbin Fitz, and today I'm going to be presenting my box for the final review of architecture this semester. So let's get right into it. First up is three slides of the sets of hand drawings that we did that we conducted with pencil, pen, and crayon. Um, I toyed around, tried different styles, um, just to see what ideas I could brainstorm up and maybe see where I wanted my hand to go and what to do with it. Um, primarily with the pencil, I stuck with this trying and testing of some pretty basic things early on, but I did try triangles in the middle hand. My pen hand drawings, I focused on continuous lines and spiraling, or uh, just messing around with circles to see what I can make to spur creativity. And then I moved on to crayon hand drawings, where were definitely my least favorite. They weren't very precise, very clunky, hard to control line weight sometimes. But still, same thing, just testing around and seeing what I can make. Next up is some key terms that I think define my box. I picked things like shadow and light, as this was a big theme in the project, depending on where you situated your light and what shadows were cast based off the positioning of your hand and the light itself in the box. I picked things like hierarchy because the structure of my box and how I position my basswood is themed around Japanese architecture, which highlights hierarchy very well in it. So my other terms were contrast and balance. Contrast is the theme of my box, as I did make it a two-tone stained wood, and balance because I like to make sure that each part of my box is its own piece. I don't want to start the show, I guess. So this is my 2D to 3D um, creation with my case studies of my first model of hand. This one I just wanted to make it look like it was holding something or going to hold on to something while in the box. And this is my second model which I made. I stuck with the spiraling finger styles in the small palm area. But this one I wanted to make it seem like it was either crawling down a wall or a surface and pointing at you or an object. So next up is the uh, hand drawings that we done of our hand models. And what we were doing is we were casting light onto the objects themselves and seeing what shadows were cast. And we were trying to draw that on paper. My uh, first one is on the left. I did not like how this one turned out. Um, not very accurate for me. And the second one I liked. Uh, a little bit more correct on the detail in my opinion. But my scale wasn't exactly right. So next up is me dividing the hand itself. Um... This was just to help us figure out maybe how we would clatter a box to showcase different pieces and parts of the hand. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. And this is the corner creation, um, actually getting to use the basswood and start creating these corners that would uh, be used in our box. This is finally good to get our hands on the project itself and start working on it, so this is really nice for me. And here's my second set of corners that we did. And we also made these in Rhino after using different types of views. So this is the GIF that we made um, of our box. Um, this is my initial idea of what I want to do with my box. Not exactly how my final one turned out at all, but this is the initial idea. And this is me moving from digital to physical with my corners, my Rhino model, and parts and pieces of my box. You can see um, my corners kind of stuck to the same theme. Um, I kind of made my own corners as I went along and structured the box itself, so it kept pretty much the same theme. And these are some pictures of my final model situated in light. You can see um, my box is two-toned. I did stain half of it with um, some darker wood stain. Um, i done this to situate the darker part in the darker side of wherever I portrayed my light that was my goal with this I wanted the shadows to be cast on that darker side and have the light coming from the lighter side of the wood and here are some interior views of my hands and uh, if you were to look at it in person maybe you could get an idea of what you would be looking at you can see the shadows cast on the back walls and whatnot and this is just another set of outside views of my box and, uh, and uh, everything else that is conveyed here. You can see my cladding and pretty basic shadows. And that's going to be it for my presentation. Thank you all for watching and viewing.